everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to whole beauty, and I am back with another product review all about lips. I'm testing out a new brand that was gifted to me. It was a PR gift. It's called Clove and Hallow. It is a clean beauty brand, which I really want to try out. They sent me three of their lip options, and I'm going to test them today using this current look that I just did after my last Get Ready With Me video, which was testing out bronzer. So, so. If you wanna come along for the ride, grab a cup of whatever you feel like drinking. Mine is tea today, it's not coffee. I know that's weird, but it just felt like a tea day, you know? Take a break and let's play with some lip stuff. <laughs> quick, I want to remind you that there's that free green beauty guide back on the site. I recently updated it. You're switching from toxic to non-toxic beauty and you're overwhelmed. Feel your pain. I've been there. I kind of wish this beauty guide was there when I first started, so that's why I made it. It tells you what brands I like, where I shop online, the one ingredient that I'll never use for free. So go get that if you feel like it. If not, let's move on to the review. Today I have three lip items from Clove & Hallow. I'm gonna try each one of these out. First I have the lip cream, which is $20. I have it in Desert Rose. I have the lip glaze in Angelic, cause I'm an angel ish then that was 15 by the way then i have the lip velvet which seems like a more pigmented option this is in color uptown and that was 18 dollars. i'm gonna give each of them a try and review it for you and give you a little before and after so you can check out what it looks like pita certified cruelty free and vegan formulas made with natural ingredients that impart bold color and hydration that's a sentence i found my happy end i lost it and then i found it it was dramatic. Life went on, you know what I mean? The lip cream, again, it is in Desert Rose, and the color is one of my favorites, this neutral, dusty rose color. So let's give this guy a shot. Goes on so smoothly. It kind of looks exactly like my lip color, except it's a lipstick. Oof, really is very creamy. It feels amazing amazing. I need any kind of balm or anything underneath it. I also like that they're sort of doing that magnetic case. The little things, it's the details. Mm -hmm. Really like this. It's a great everyday color. It looks pretty much like my natural lip color and it feels wonderful. I love this. I would totally get this. And also I feel like this is a color where if I just needed a quick flush, I could just take a little of this and make it a multi-stick because like, why not? Color number one, I like. Let's try the second option. My poor lips, they're gonna be like, whoa, look at how dark it looks on the wipe. I wanna try out the lip glaze. Here she is. I have a feeling this is going to be too light for me, but we have to try it to know. $15 formulated with natural olive oil, jojoba oil, and shea butter, and it does the whole PETA certified thing. Offers inspired color and a dazzling finish without the stickiness. Okay, so I don't like that either. I don't like when you have lip gloss on and it's like It's 99% natural, 64% organic. I don't like when brands use the word natural because asbestos is natural. So I don't care if you tell me it's natural, but I can read their ingredients and I can see that it all looks pretty legit. Let's give it a shot. I've already pushed it through so I wouldn't take 20 pumps to do it, but this is that little turn clicky. Ooh, it starts coming out. Oh, and I never really know when it comes out until it's too late and it's overflowing. I like having a brush. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely too light, but I'm not gonna fault them for that because I didn't buy the color. As far as it not being sticky, it's not tremendously sticky, but it is sticky. So don't get it twisted. There's some stickiness, I have to be honest. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. The point of my channel is that I give you the honest feedback. There is good or bad. Um, I don't hate it. I, it's, it's a little too light for what I usually wear. The way I sort of like that frosty kind of look. <laughs> let's go back to the 80s. Let's go back to, the, it's like the moral of the story right now. Let's go back to my childhood. Why not? I don't hate it, I don't love it, it's not my favorite one. Probably would not buy this again because it's not 
everything to me right now. And after trying the lip cream, I loved that. That I would buy again. This I'm not like, I'm neither here nor there. And it's a little bit sticky. So I'm not a huge, huge fan of this one. So there's that. The last one, a shot to lip velvet and it's darker. But my lips are like, what are you doing? Why do you keep putting stuff on me? Final option, which is the Cloven Hallow Lip Velvet. $18. Creamy, kissable liquid lipstick infused with coconut oil, shea butter, and vitamin E for a comfortably smudge proof matte finish. Recommend exfoliating your lips with a scrub prior to applying lip velvets to ensure the smoothest application. I like it. I would probably agree with them. Let's see if it's worth it. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Don't draw outside the lines. I can see why they'd want you to do a lip scrub. Luckily, mine have been molded by previous testing today. Whoa, I really like this. I effed up the lines a little bit because <laughs> I got excited. Mmm, fun one. Oh yeah, this is like a wine stained burgundy and it definitely goes on matte. I would 100% agree with them and recommend doing a lip scrub before applying this. I would also say having a nice balm to go underneath would not be a bad idea like I just did. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? I kind of love it. Kind of great. I would probably do, for going out, I would have this bold lip and keep everything really, really natural and bronze. Probably a very minimal liner and then just let the lip really, really pop. Love it. So two out of three from this group. <laughs> Not bad. I think the lip cream and the lip velvet are going to be the winners. I'm really glad they sent these to me. Thank you so much, Glove and Hello. Currently loving this shade like crazy into it right now. Like hypnotized by my own mouth. Is that weird? Probably, but I'm gonna go with it. I don't see why not. Okay, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up to support the channel. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss another video like this. That would be really, really sad. And to all of my current subscribers, my people, you know who you are. Mwah. Love you. Thank you so much for being here. I'm grateful to have you here. And I am so excited to see you guys right back here again very, very soon. Until then, go out there, have some fun, play with some lip gloss, See you here next time, bye.